Yeah, it is a contradiction. So what's happening is that here's a man who's already a diabetic, who's on a statin. So then you've got to look to say, okay, he's got coronary artery disease. Has his coronary artery disease been stable or has it been unstable, progressive? Has he had recent stents put in him? Has he had a chronology that's showing that one year he gets it, then two years later he gets another stent? So the fire is on. If the fire is on, if you still have the feeling that this patient is making plaque in his body, his CRP is still high, his, a his ratios are not very good um, in his lipids, his weight is not perfect, he's got uh, other risk factors that are untreated, maybe he's got sleep apnea that's still untreated, he's going to have a risk. So then, even a small 3% reduction in your risk by use of a statin is probably a good idea. Then you've got to watch for side effects of statins other than that. If he's already got diabetes, then, of course, you're going to treat the diabetes the way we normally treat diabetes. But in addition, you need to be on what this newfound knowledge is, that you just stay away from all sugars and get your insulin levels way down. We only started doing insulin levels a few, uh, about not even, not even a month ago. So uh, this is very new, to actually measure insulin levels. Insurance companies didn't want to pay for this. So again, you know, you got to look at the overall risk for the patient. Um, that is why sometimes we feel uncomfortable leaving patients on statins. But then we discuss it and we always ask for side effects. When a patient's on a statin, you ask the following questions. Do your muscles ache a lot? Do you feel like you got the flu with your muscles? When you stand up from a chair, do you have to use the side rails? Can you keep your arms up a lot? No. Then you're, do you feel you're losing a lot of muscle strength? Then you know that he's getting probably a side effect of the statin. Then you look at his sugar. If his sugar levels continue to go higher and higher and higher, you need to say, well, anything I can do to make this better. So you may want to consider that that's a statin side effect. If the patient feels that he's losing his, his marbles and he's forgetting things, and then you say, well, you know what? I can't explain why you, you, you're so forgetful now. Perhaps this is a statin side effect. Let's give yourself a statin holiday. So you go by symptoms. And a statin holiday, nothing goes wrong when you give a statin holiday. It's a good thing. So you need to put it to the test sometimes. When you just stop the statin for a month, and the patient comes back and say, I felt no difference. OK, then let's. So it's, it's looking at your, your risk versus benefit ratio. But at least we know now talking about it versus dogma. Dogma is, I don't care. You need to be on a statin, period, end of story. And I think now we're questioning it. So it's just an increasing awareness. It's an increasing awareness. But yeah, so look at your symptoms. Be, a, be Become a participant in the decision making. And when you do that, you may come up with more symptoms and come up to me, and you'll say, Dr. J, I am feeling those things that I heard about. And then we can look at all the risk factors. You see, it's a, that's why they call this the art of medicine or the practice of medicine, because there's very little dogma here. We, we, it, it is really a sense of putting things together and coming up with a plan for the patient, knowing the patient in his individuality and lifestyle, putting it all together.